talking about this beautiful flower. You know what she is. It's a daisy. And daisies grow on every single continent except for Antarctica because who wants to grow out there? Just kidding. It's way too cold for them there. But they grow everywhere. In Europe, in the United States, obviously, in Asia, and everywhere else. It's super cool. But special, special thought about their name is that it comes from the Old English and Days Eid, right? And then it went to Days I because this beautiful flower is one of the first plants to open their eyes, okay? So at nighttime, they close up and in the daytime, when the sun comes up, the daisy is back in full bloom. So it's kind of like us, right? We go to sleep at night and we wake up in the morning. What I really loved about that, they're so beautiful, first of all, but what I really loved about that comparison to our lives is that we should be waking up in the morning and spending time with our life source. Their, their source is the sun. Our source is the sun, S-O-N, Jesus. We should be spending some time with him every morning. Okay, also in here we have some red clover. Can't really see them, but it's there. But, like the red clover, which has great medicinal properties, so does the daisy. Daisies are very high in vitamin C, so if you're ever lacking, go ahead and give her a little, little, little nibble, make a tea out of it. It's great for soothing coughs, slowing bleeding, and it relieves indigestion. Daisies also stand for innocence, purity, loyalty, patience, and simplicity. But more specifically, this white daisy stands for humility. So, as we go throughout this day, let's be a little bit more like the daisy. And not just today, but every day. Let's wake up. Let's try to wake up early in the morning to spend time with God in our personal devos, where we're writing down our prayer requests, giving them to Him, and asking Him what to do, right? Let's be more patient, more humble. Let's be loyal people. And let's just 